Good morning, good afternoon, good evening for those watching at home. Very uh, great pleasure to be here and joined today by two amazing speakers. Michael Lunanga is from the Canon Young People Program and is a mentor. And then we have a singer, an SDG advocate, Sil, from Nigeria. So wait a, a moment be, be before we have a, a lot of ask, a question for, for you. But before, I just want to show you a video to show you our campaign, which is about flipping the script and making a, a negative message into a positive one, flipping apathy into action, fear into hope. So we'll now show you a quick video so you understand the campaign, and then we'll, we'll see how we can flip the script on creativity to leverage his power. Video. Thank you. So today we're here to talk about how creativity can flip the script. And we at the SDG Action Campaign, we really believe that positive and, la and lasting positive change can only happen when people transform their behavior. And this happens when minds and heart are connected. And while we can use evidence and fact uh, to change our opinion and our minds, our action will only change when fact and evidence is combined with heart. And art and creativity can help us to really touch people's heart and inspire change, the change we need to build more sustainable, more peaceful, and more inclusive society, which is the reality of the Sustainable Development Goals. So I'm very honored to be joined today by those two great speakers, and I will start with you, Michael. So we're talking about creativity and how creativity can promote change. Uh, you are a, a young leader, so how young people can leverage creativity to promote change in their communities? Thank you so much for having me. Uh, my name is Michel Onanga. I am the Canon uh, photography trainer. And um, I'm, it's really an honor to be here. And uh, to respond to your question, uh, I would love to say that creativity is the most important weapon people can have, the young people can have, because um, because it helps us to, to illustrate what is happening in our places, to show our issues, to show our creativity, to show everything that can happen around us. Uh, talking, about, uh, talking about that, uh, as, a, as a photojournalist, uh, we always talk about uh, what is happening the problem and things that are happening in our community, but uh, talking about the creativity in, in the SDGs, it's actually, you go deeper, you go deeper, you talk to your community, you exchange in order to understand each other. So you use the creativity to show uh, what is around you. Yeah, that's what I can say. 
Fantastic. I really like what you said about the positive change. We need to embrace the positive change that's happening and, and how we can inspire by describing and, and sharing a new narrative in our communities and to our you know, friends and to, uh, to, to the people around us. Yes. And now, I mean, you are a photographer and uh, we, want to, um, we want you to show us a couple of your pictures and maybe you can show how you are embracing this positive narrative about change. Thank you. So, here the first. So, talk to us about it. Uh, so, as you see this place, uh, this is a place called Masisi. It's, a pe it's one of the places in my hometown that experiences, experiences, uh, experiences ongoing conflicts. And uh, to talk about this picture, I, I didn't uh, want to just talk about uh, things that are happening around this place because it's it's true that when people go to this place they're always afraid uh, of what is around the place and sometimes we forget we forget people who live inside the community but if you see this picture uh, the lady is, is so happy to have to have uh, to to live with the animals so I went well, I wanted to go deeper in in the community to talk about the untold stories that people don't say when they go to these places. Yeah. Perfect. I mean, I really like your message about the untold stories, about the positive message, because this is about also the resilience of people who live in, in conflict, who live confronted by many challenges. But there is a resilience in each one of us that we need to promote. Yeah. So the second picture, the, sec the second picture, three gentlemen uh, from also in Goma. They are, uh, let me talk about uh, the wooden uh, scooter that is called uh, Chukudu. It was founded uh, by, a, by a man called uh, Thomas. Uh, this Chukudu is actually one of the, the main uh, the main image people see when they come to Goma because when you come to my place you you see this around but people don't know the story behind this but the story behind this Chukudu is actually helping uh, people who who don't who, who uh, refuse to go uh, to to the war and look for something different they can fight for so uh, they use the, the chukudu to, to sell their products to help people transporting the goods. And the free gentleman, they, they just, uh, on that picture, I remember they came from the break time where they were saying that uh, they, uh, they, they live for this. They, they, they didn't want to go uh, to the war, or to go to steal, or to go to look for something that is not right. They wanted to practice this so that they take care of their family. Yeah. So thank you. I mean, this is a, again one of these untold stories of peace and of alternative to war and conflict. And yeah. and this picture shows us how we can become agent for change. We can create an alternative narrative through our action, and I think it's very important how art and creativity and photography in this case can help us amplify this different narrative. Yeah. And uh, you know, we are many, many people watching uh, on, online. Just one advice and one tip for young people if they want to you know, leverage their skill or their passion to, to start a, a positive change in their communities. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, what I can say is I would love young people to go outside and create uh, their own story. They, uh, we, in Africa, we have so many stories people uh, put on the internet, they put everywhere, but uh, when, when we go abroad, people usually, people usually see uh, a story that people uh, talked about long time ago. 
But right now we have the power to flip the story. We have the power to create our own story. This is the most important uh, time to actually go out there and create. Yeah, that's what I can say. So Thanks. I want the young people to... To flip the to script, flip the, the script, change yeah. the narrative, <laughs> change and actually narrative. to shape a new reality that can yes. start from your action, from your creativity. Exactly. Thank you, Michael. Thank you very much. Seal, you know, you are a singer, you have an activist, an SDG advocate. So the, the first question, particularly for people watching us uh, from all over the world, is tell us your, your story, how you became a singer and an activist, so using music to promote social change. Thank you very much. Um, it's such an honor to be here. Um, I would say um, I started being, I started by being a volunteer with an organization back in 2012. I just wanted to give back. Um, I didn't have any experience. Uh, I wanted to learn, so I had volunteered with an organization called Yaga in Nigeria, and part of the focus areas were on good governance, um, youth participation, elections, and human rights. And I started my journey there, just volunteering. And it was a, such a learning curve for me. And I learned a lot, and I saw firsthand the challenges in my community, and there was a lot of apathy and people didn't want to be part of um, anything, especially elections. People didn't want to come out to vote. People, didn't, people were just generally not interested in a lot of things. And so the first song that I had released a long time ago at that time was Sound the Alarm. And I'm, I'm, I wasn't sure if anyone was even paying attention. But I just wanted to just do it because I knew it was the right thing to do. So I put out that song and several other songs later I am here still talking about the same issues and there's been a lot of improvement you know with um, within my community people are now like coming out to be part of the conversations and taking action so it's so inspiring and for me I wanted to find a way to marry um, advocacy, my passion in advocacy and my passion in music because I, I couldn't just like, I didn't want either of them to suffer. So I decided that I was always going to find a way to create songs, music uh, that inspire people to take action. And that's why I'm here. So I think it's a very inspiring story, you know, how to combine advocacy with, with art, with, with, with music. And we listen to a song that you, you, you play, you know, you, you sing ye yesterday about women and, and maybe tell us how you come up with the words, you know, what, uh, how you choose a song and how you choose a theme, that this is also something that can be inspiring for the audience. Thank you so much. Um, I generally just write how I feel and most times I'm singing, for example, the song you're referring to, Woman, was a song that I was singing from my own story, my own experiences. As a young girl in Nigeria, I experienced a lot of um, discrimination. I was told you, that I couldn't do a lot of things. You can't, you can't pass an exam, you can't go to school, you can't study law, you can't, your place is in the kitchen. And then, despite all of that, I, I, I studied law, I graduated, and I decided to do music because I wanted to, not because I wasn't a successful lawyer. So I realized that despite all the negativity, I could be anything that I chose to be as long as I put my heart to it. So Woman was a song that I was writing to myself and saying that I'm a miracle, right? And that um, it's, a, it's such a mystery that n and nobody can really, really, really explain how powerful you know, the human mind and how you can flip negativity towards, you know, a positive outcome. So that was just my, my expression, like my own story. And I think that it's relatable because there are many people who have the same story. And, and I focus on being relatable. So yeah, I, I, I don't think that there is any formula. I just write based on how I feel and tell the stories that, you know, are also personal experiences. 
So thank you, Seal, for, for sharing this. If, I think it's very touching when you talk about turning you know, apathy into action and also using your experience. And, and you had a very positive story to tell. You, you changed your destiny. You embrace change and you prove that the impossible is possible. So I think this, this powerful story can inspire other people all over the world. So now, uh, you know, it, we are coming, you know, we, we show you, Michael, your picture. Now we're closing this, uh, this beautiful conversation with uh, your performance. And maybe just before you perform is a, is a song about accountability. So maybe tell us two words about the song and then we'll, we can wait to listen to it. And okay, so um, the song is called All You've Got. And um, I wrote the song after going through a training about governance. And right there, I was told that the government is not just people, elected officials. It's everyone. We are all part of the system. Like, if we want change, then we have to be part of it. We, ha we can't just wish change into existence. And so I decided that I wanted to put it in a song so other people can also, also learn the lessons that I learned. And so I just wrote a song um, about um, not being, not um, being, um, what's the word? Taking, taking, um, taking action. Taking action, taking basically. Action. I, I wanted to put it in a song so that everybody can learn what I learned, that government, the government is all of us. It's you, it's me, it's government for the people, by the people, you know. It's not just some people we elect. So if we don't, if we don't take action, then we're not going to see the change that we want. That's basically what the song is about. So thank you, Seal. Thank you for this final message about the SDG is about all of us. We all need to take action together because together we are stronger. And now I leave the floor to you, Seal. You will be joined by your guitarist, Tommy, and uh, we me. can wait to hear you sing.